ideal garage doors are on sale at Menards. Five star doors feature a durable three layer insulated construction. Right now, this 16 by 7 door with windows is $649. AC2 pressure treated lumber resists rot and decay and is the preferred choice for outdoor projects. Now, all boards, lumber, timbers, and yeah. are on sale. Average Friday night here. It's been a while since I've made a video, I know. Need a haircut. It's getting ridiculous, but. I decided to give you guys a little bit of an update on my truck. The 95 Cummins, I don't think I have actually any videos of it online. But I made a video in probably over three, four, five, maybe in six months, half a year. I know since at least 2013, so let's just get into this. Now, I'm currently up at college. to be an engine machinist. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. It's been a while since I've made one of these videos, so I need to get back in the swing of it. Anywho, I got a 95 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins 12-valve. Really nice truck. It's been redone body-wise. My dad and I drove all the way out to um, Nebraska, I believe. Yeah. We went to Cody, Nebraska, which is really small town and we the guy told us okay go to Cody head 10 miles out and look for a white Chevy Dooley and we followed him down his like 20 mile driveway he lived on like 400,000 acres 400,000 acres yeah and we ended up buying this thing for real cheap well the guy said the transmission was rebuilt and all this stuff and whether that be the case or not it ended up going out my transmission is toast I maybe I'll make another video of um the carnage because right now it's at my school all torn apart so anyway let's get into this after I had started having problems with the transmission fluid seeming burnt and then the truck would have a delayed takeoff like you'd go to a stop sign and you have to rev up a lot more before it would take off so I'm like well, this ain't good. It just so happens that I joined an automatic transmissions class because our school teaches both like machining, auto sports, like engine building, dyno tuning, dyno running, engine. Actually, we have an engine dyno too, undercar service, metal fabrication, lathe mill operation, all that. So you can take like automatic transmission classes with the undercar specialists or whatever they call them. We call them ILCS, Instant Oil Chain Specialists. Okay, we don't really call them that, but whatever. It's just a, it's a joke that's kind of going around, whatever. Anyway, my truck is 47RH. This is 47RE, close enough. But here's the manual. I got all this through, um, I believe it's Gorend, G O R. Or no, G O E R E N D. And I guess I'll just go through everything. Here's my kit for seals and everything. It's got the pan, pan seal, all the other seals you need, just the whole load of them. I got another one, but this here is for something I'll show you right over there. Um, servos, bushings, servo cover, I believe. Washers, as I thought. Servo piston covers, whatever. Bearings. Servo rolling around. Um, got these other washers and spring. That piece there is a spring. Got a flex plate stiffener. Interesting. Filter. Um, yeah. That's, I mean, this is a pretty awesome kit. It was 900 some bucks. Here's the band or bands. I don't know how many are in there. And all the clutches. This actually adds, I believe, 10 clutches to the, or makes the clutch count 10 in the overdrive unit, I believe it is. Let's go around here quick. So that's the rebuild kit. It's called the Master Overhaul Rebuild. 
Oh, 4G63. This is actually like one of my favorite parts here. I assume this is like a sun gear drive of some sort. I don't know. It has something to do with the sun gear. Anywho. All this stuff seems high quality. I mean, there's the brand right there. Gorand, I believe it is. Makes some good stuff. And I opened this here. It came in the pan. And they give you an Allen. It's a Lyle brand, I believe. Yeah, Lyle. They give you Allen head bolts for the pan. And then the uh, socket. As well as the adapter plate. For the filter pretty neat and of course obviously all this here is here because of this beauty she's a little heavy I mean it's a real thick pan it's pretty cool got that drain on the bottom real reason I liked it was because of the temperature sensor bong that you can put in. I've already taken it out. My my temp sensor fits in there, but it's an extra two and a half quarts, I believe, in there. I mean, that's added precaution. You're not going to overheat your transmission. Also, for the um, added safety of not overheat, excuse me, the transmission, I got this here. Once again, brand names. I'm terrible at pronouncing them. This one here is a Daryl 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 Atomic Remote Remote Cooler Trans Cooler um, Engine Power Steering Fuel. You can use it for wherever you want. This is the 15950 kit. Got all this through PureDieselPower.com. They're out of Wisconsin. But this seems to be a pretty nice kit. I'm not going to take it out because of the way the brackets hold it down in there. But it's a real nice setup. It's pretty thick. I don't know. It might not work with the truck where the factory location is. So I might have to do some custom stuff. The way I'm thinking it's going to go is I'm going to have to... Um, I'm actually going to do um, dash 8 AN stainless steel lines. It's got all the adapters and stuff in here. The... You can either use it on use the fan on a switch or a thermostat. They just I believe they just gave me a thermostat, so that's what it is. I'll get here to this bad boy here too. This is a single disc. I believe it's a 300 lower than stock stall converter with a billet rear. It was a you'll think it was a hundred dollars extra, so I decided to go with the billet rear. I wanted to go with the triple disc, but I mean it. The price of all this would have been over four, like forty four hundred bucks, and I just being in college, I don't know if I could have swung all that. I mean, I could barely swing this. I mean, this is a lot of my money for school. Actually, I'm using this bad boy. It's like seventy two pounds, but I don't know. Good stuff. I think it's gonna. This whole setup's gonna be real nice for me. I also went and got an A, I was going to say AEMY, auto meter gauge kit. Got your trans temp, your boost gauge, and your pyrometer, EGT. I think the EGT is going to be the worst one to try and install, but we'll see what happens. I also just today got the color match. But yeah, that's my, um, this is going to be my truck here in a little while. Up and running. I mean, I haven't driven for over a month, but <sighs> yeah, engine machining is cool. It's freaking, it's fun. A lot of projects. Always projects. They're never ending. But I mean, if you guys can see, I've got big plans. Sheet metal intake manifold. 
big plans but not deep pockets so I polished up a whole set HX35W HX35W compressor housing and then the CHRA or whatever you want to, guys want to call them oil for my talon that I need to get running it's actually sad I brought my 95 talon if you guys look back in my videos I brought my 95 talent up to where I'm going to school and the snowblower that the uh, owner of this apartment has was a little bit too close and I believe a guy came to repair it because something broke off on it needed to be welded and he tipped it over into my car and put a dent and took a large chunk of paint out of it didn't leave me very happy so yeah but just thought I'd share a little video about the truck that most of you probably haven't even seen because I haven't put it out there. But, yeah, look forward to more videos because I'm going to start getting into it. Because, like, tonight's Friday night. I have nothing to do but sit in the apartment by myself. All the roommates are either working or home. So, here we are. Appreciate the views, guys. Like the thumbs up subscribe share me with uh, some of your friends and if you're into um if you're into dsms csms cummins mitsubishi in general just send people on my way subscribers whatever but yeah i definitely will have plenty of dsm 4g63 stuff to come i'm probably going to start trying to make some videos at school as well it's just tough because the requirements for all our machine stuff is really high, so you kind of got to beat feet to get stuff done, to say, or as some would say. <clears throat> but, yeah. I plan to make some more videos, get more stuff up. I did, I actually bought a all-wheel drive Mirage maybe five, six months ago as well. Four or five, one of the two. But, yeah, you can look forward to this summer. More videos of my Red 99 GST, the 95 Talon, uh, the 95 Mirage, maybe my 94 Colt, eh, certain rust outs, my winter beater, so it's nothing special anymore. <clears throat> the 95 Cummins for sure, there's going to be a lot of videos on that. Um, I have a 92 Talon TSI all-wheel drive, that's when I stripped my black 91 TSI all-wheel drive, if there's videos of that turned into like a sled. But yeah, I've got the blue car that I need to get running. Hoping to get a real nice job this summer. Up here in lovely Bemidji where it's always nice and warm. <laughs> and get it all, uh, get everything running and drivable and usable. Not like just boring and sitting around collecting dust, getting mice in it and stuff. But yeah, I suppose I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Like I said, like. Rate, subscribe, whatever you guys want to do, and send some people my way. Got to get some more subscribers and followers and whatnot, but all right, guys. Thanks. Peace.